What up, y'all? Your partner, Big Boy. Big Boy's Neighborhood. Rhymecology, huh? A lot of people need to uh, step back and really figure out what Rhymecology is, man. Just the art of rhyming, bro. And not just that, man. We live this thing called hip-hop. Well, a lot of us do, if you're living it right. And under hip-hop, man, there's so many things also, man. When I had a chance to really talk about Rhymecology, just the mental awareness as well, man. The things that sometimes we don't even figure out what an outlet is. And I've been to juvenile halls where they give them like writing programs as well, man. And you don't know what's inside of you until you start like really kind of peeling this onion, these layers of emotions off, man. So with Rhymecology, it's not just about stacking rhymes. It's not just about how dope rhymes are, but also it can be very therapeutic as well, man. And aside from that, to a lot of people out there, this isn't disrespect, man, but some of us just need to write better rhymes too. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm going to tell you, I was going to start kicking a freestyle, but then I really don't want Jeff to dissect uh, my bars. So, Rhymecology, hello. When you dropped a gem, I, I heard a little tidbit of this. This is like your your wrap up. This is what you you pretty much. I don't want to say you're known for this, but I mean, yeah, you, kind you, of known for. I guess he is kind of yeah. known. I mean, you used to do this on. Uh, you know, on the sports yeah. shows, do the sports wrap up, and, and you kind of like did like the skills thing, the wrap up for the ticket uh, personal show. So, right, right, yeah. So you have some for 2019, right? Something for 2019. I started doing this with Fox Sports Radio, and then got up onto TNT with Inside the NBA and a few other things. And now I'm doing it for Take a Personal. Love that shit. Take a Personal 2000 2019 wrap up. Let's hear it, brother. We, we, we about to take it back. back, back. Bring, Bring that, that one back, back from, from the, top. the top. Peace. This is Jeff Walker, creator of Rhymecology and Write Better Rhymes, where we use hip hop to heal. And I'm supposed to talk about Take It Personal 2019, but my knees are weak and my palms are sweaty because the episodes this year were deep, long, and heavy. Did Jay get Nas or Nas got Jay? Epic interviews with Redman Murs and Doc Dre. I gotta say I was pissed, sober, and bitching until I listened to the crossover edition. And plus, they had the GOAT Primo interview of all time. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, the high road tribute will echo from 19 till infinity. Yo, it's Rhymecology, repping for Take It Personal. Other podcasts won't last because they ain't as versatile. You could say they're terminal while Tip has the hits to make you shake. No vertigo. Jake Gloss always got me feeling so purposeful while I'm swerving through traffic in my LA convertible. He connects you to legendary MCs like your favorite merchants do. And food or wax, DJ 360's always got a way of serving you. I guess that's why they're on a first name basis with Eric Sermon's crew. God damn, that's a hell of a year for some shit faced suburban dudes. Rhymecology. Damn, Damn, bro. Jeff. I love that one, bro. That was good. Let's go. Good stuff. Damn, how do you follow that up, right? <laughs> Yo, this is Red Man in the building. And whenever I'm around the world, especially I'm in Cali, I'm going to see that boy Ron Collegey. Because that motherfucker is on this hip hop game. And we in the building, bitch. <laughs> Well, uh, next week uh, in New York, they're going to have the, uh, the National Sports Emmys. Which oh, really? Is, apparently, Kenny, there is somebody out there who would really love to see you win an individual Emmy. Oh, I think I saw this. Did you? Yeah, I have this. It, it's a song, correct? It's a song. Yeah, it's, yeah listen to this, folks. Kenny needs an Emmy. Kenny needs an Emmy. Kenny needs an Emmy. Kenny the Jet needs an Emmy, so pay your respect and stop talking about Barkley and Shaq, cause they're hardly a match. This is a story of a Queens kid who started from scratch. He always knew timing was important, just like at UNC when he was diamond for Jordan. Such a cool cat, man, he's far from a punk. The first to do a through the legs, no look off the backboard, reversible dunk. Back when he was falling for the Kings, and in an age where people keep on calling for the rings, Kenny's got Two, two to stay in his pocket. Dude was sickly quick when he played with, with the, the Rockets. Rockets. Classic yeah. like Illmatic on vinyl. His seven threes for Shaq in the finals. finals. But that's not why. Kenny needs an Emmy. Kenny needs an Emmy. Kenny needs an Emmy. 
You think this is funny? <laughs> Don't even laugh, sport. Because Caddy still drains three at All-Star Weekend from half court. Got the People answer. should be jealous. It's why I done this spot. Because Caddy's the one that makes the dunk contest fun to watch. Yeah, Ernie runs the ship and he's steering it well. But Caddy's got the fresh gear with the pels. I'm drinking beer in my hell. While Caddy's pictures paint the thorough with scenes. Man, this ain't bad for a kid from the borough of Queens. Wow, Jay Walker, <laughs> Rhyme Ecology. Oh, oh man, that was hilarious. Give <laughs> <laughs> me that, man. I started crying. Is that the guy from Good Times? <laughs>